I'm Don Doverspike. Uh, I've been teaching here at the Career Center for seven years. Uh, I got into this field by uh, well, word of mouth, actually. I was a technician in the field, and a friend of mine saw on the internet that they were hiring here, so I applied for the job, and here I am seven years later. Prior to this, I uh, drove truck, hauled oversized loads, commercial freight, and uh, even ended up, after several years of deciding which way to go, that I thought I'd want to try this, so here I am. All right, and... Uh your uh, classes have built uh, a couple of trucks, including the one behind you. Uh, tell me about that one first. Okay, this here is a 1995 Peterbilt. It was named it Class Act. A uh, student purchased his truck from Hunter's Truck Sales in Buffalo, New York for $3,500. They completely rebuilt the motor and went through the transmission rear ends. Helped. They spent part of their summer vacation they gave up to uh, help get this truck painted. And they purchased the exhaust stacks for it, a few other little items on back in the back, the deck plating and stuff. And we put this together. Took it to Mid American last year along with two other trucks that competed. And this took second place in uh, first show Bobtail Division. All right, and uh, you're working on another truck now that we've uh, we've seen that's currently. Uh, the body work is currently being done at Jones Performance. Um, give me uh, give me a rundown on that truck, and uh, and then we'll talk about who's working on it. Okay, that's an 04 Peterbilt that was given to us by uh, Carl Karstens of Rockwood Products, and he had envisioned, envisioned us being like a junior build off. We worked with them. With him and Bud Farquhar involved, uh, they're seeking outside vendors who are participating in this truck build. And uh, right now, to date, we have the truck over at Jones Performance and we've lowered the sleeper six inches, the roof on the sleeper, it has a 70 inch ultra sleeper on it. We lowered it six inches. Our carpentry department did some custom cabinetry work and upholstery work inside it. And we went through, pulled the motor and transmission out of it, and we ran the overhead on the motor and made sure everything was okay on it. We opened up the transmission and the rear ends to make sure everything was good there. Lengthened the wheelbase to 315 inches from 262. And uh, right now it's getting prepped for paint. All right, let's talk about who's working on this. Uh, how many are in your, your class and uh, and give me a rundown on, uh, you know, the experience that they're getting and the, the valuable knowledge of, of, of diesel technology that they're getting out of this. Okay, this year I have 38 students and of different levels. Some have been here for three years, some of this is their first year. And uh, they're working side by side each other. And the concept behind this is to get them to really know how a truck is made, how it's built, what's all involved behind it. The customizing is an extra benefit to them. They get to see different things added into it. Um, but the main concept behind all of this is so they can actually identify where parts and products are on the vehicle so they're not totally lost when they leave the high school level and enter into the real working world. Okay, and here at the uh, Career Center, they get, they get real hands-on experience with other vehicles too, is that right? Correct. Um, we work on anything uh, from pickups to medium duty trucks, tractor trailers, we do a lot of trailer repair, uh, a lot of wheel end servicing. And we have even went as far as putting trailer floors in, uh, roof work on trailers, wheel end servicing, oil changes, major overhauls on trucks even. Um, they get their hands wet on everything. Now, uh, some of them have uh, say that they, they are expressing interest in pursuing uh, diesel technology or trucking-related uh, careers. Uh, does that make you, feel, make you feel good? Oh, it does make me feel good. Some of them, uh, not every one that comes out of here is going to go into this field. Some of them are going to a post-secondary school. Some of them will go into driving a truck. And some of them will leave here at, and go right into the field as mechanics, start out entry-level positions. And it makes me 
feel good that I had a partner in instilling that in their lives, you know. Well, great. And the, the truck that uh, they're building uh, to show at Mid America in 2011. Uh, Tell me what's what's going to happen with it and uh, what the goals are with that truck and wh where is it going to end up? Well, the goal with this truck is the ultimate goal is to sell this truck when it's finished. Um, when it leaves Mid America, or Mid America, it is supposed to go to Kansas City, Peterbilt in Kansas City, and uh, a gentleman by the name of Clint Moore is working on trying to sell that truck for us. And uh, I guess if you want to put it in. Our payback is if they make any extra money on the truck, we get kickback off of that to help buy supplies, tools and stuff, education materials for the school. So it's going to turn out to be a, a great deal if, if we can accomplish it. Well, we wish you the best of luck, Donnie, and uh, thanks for sharing uh, the information with us. Thank you for your time. I appreciate being here.